YouTube, we're back with another great video and today we're trying to speak about the aspect of or the aspects of how to practically manifest love in your daily life. Uh, if you haven't watched the previous video, we're trying to discover the or we're trying to demystify the 14 days of towards Eros. And uh, if you haven't checked out the video, I'll leave a link in the description. You can check out the video. And uh, on today's video, we're trying to see how can you practically do love in the sense that you don't just say it as a word or as a feeling, but you can actually do practical things to engage with people or to manifest and show love towards them. The first point is love is patient and love is kind. And uh, it's interesting because it's a combination of two, not just patient, but kind. Uh, these aspects are trying to uh, reflect on the aspect of the ability to wait and the ability to be kind to people. So the question is, are you patient both with situations and uh, people around you or do you grumble and mama when things don't go your way? So that is an interesting thing to look at because love is patient. If you have love, you will be patient with somebody who is either struggling to uh, overcome a certain behavior or they're trying to change who they are. So you, you, you show love by being patient towards them, knowing that you yourself have flaws. Uh, the other aspect is love is kind do you go out of your way to do random acts of kindness and i'm talking about doing something that not necessarily for your own gain but just going out of your way to be a help to somebody giving a word of encouragement helping somebody pay a bill or just doing something that you feel will make their life better the aspect of boastful is that as much as you do something or as much as you're either talented in a certain area you don't boast uh, in order to gain attention or just to show off because love is not boastful. So even if you do something good for somebody, you don't boast about it to people because that is the opposite of love. Point number two is love is not jealous or boastful. Jealousy is just trying to look at the aspect of do you celebrate others when they win in life or do you get envious? Point number three, love is not rude or arrogant and the aspect of arrogance is just to speak about are you teachable or do you take uh, criticism or correction in a negative way because if you do that then you're arrogant and that is an expression of a lack of love because if you love people you will take even if it's a negative criticism you will perceive it as something that you can look into and improve the aspect of rudeness is just plain point blank uh, Hmm. It's just point black being the opposite of being rude is polite. That's the word. So if you're a, a rude person, you will find that it will come off as an expression of somebody who doesn't love or care about people. So it's something that you should look into. How do you engage with people? Are you rude? Do they perceive you as a rude person? Do you uh, give off answers just to tell off people? Or do you answer questions just as they are asked? Number four, love does not insist on its own way. And this is just trying to speak about, do you give other people an opportunity to uh, express what is their opinion or to allow them to uh, have their way in terms of if it's an idea or if it's an activity that you're engaged in, do you have to always have your own way? Because if you always insist on doing things on your way, then it is an expression of a lack of love because you perceive other people as either inferior or they don't actually match up to either your intelligence or whatnot. But it is just basically an expression of lack of love. Because if you have love, you will accommodate others. You will give people room to express their ideas, to express what they have. Number five, and this is a good one, love is not irritable or resentful. Irritable trying to speak about the aspect of that you're tolerant tolerance level is up there so you don't take offense easily and this is something that each one of us varies in comparison to how we tolerate people how we tolerate situations and it's something that you can develop something that you can improve so it's an aspect to look into do i get uh, easily angered do i get uh, easily wronged or do i take offense very easily do i have room to allow people to either uh, or to understand people when they make a mistake. The other part is resent. 
and resent also comes up uh, because of the aspect of either being wronged or somebody just crossing your line and you're like now nah, that was strike one that was strike two I'm just waiting for strike three so that I can either vent out or do something out of the norm and that is an aspect of trying to show you that your love level is down there because you can't tolerate people or you get easily resentful of people's actions number six and there's uh, love does not rejoice in wrongdoing this is just basically trying to speak about uh, how you engage with people and how you stand where you take your stand in the sense that if you say if you see somebody doing something wrong do you encourage them or do you pat them in the back like good job you did something good or do you stand off and say okay what you did is not morally right or is uh, something offensive so you don't rejoice in what they're doing rather you actually try to correct them so that is an expression of love if you don't have love you will rejoice when you see your brother down when you see your brother making a mistake or you'll be like mm, i always knew he would do that or i always knew so that is an aspect of lack of love because if you have love then you will not rejoice in somebody doing something wrong number seven and that is uh, an interesting one because love bears all things number eight is love hopes on all things and believes in all things trying to speak about the aspect of your attitude love hopes in all things in the sense that you always see the light in everything even if it is a, a dark situation or a dark moment so what is your attitude towards life towards situations towards circumstances that you come across do you believe in all things do you hope in all things number nine and probably the last one is love endures all things and love never ends and it's just trying to speak about the aspect of continuity that you don't love occasionally or when it is convenient for you but you love at all times that you're there for somebody or you express love towards them when the circumstances are right or wrong whether they treat you uh, well or bad because you're expressing love from who you are but if you only love people because they love you or you express love when it is beneficial to you then it is an expression of your love level is way down there so i hope uh, these aspects uh, gave you insight in terms of where you are in terms of your love level so you should gauge yourself and look at what you can work on even in this season even as uh, February comes to an end let it not be just something that you did for a month but let be something that will have continuity as we've said love never ends and I hope this video gave you insights on the aspect of love on how you can practically express love in your daily life and I uh, hope to see you in the next one <laughs>